Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Today we are going to try out and test out this viral foundation from Japan, the Theater Foundation. I have the red version. I believe there are two more versions. Probably in future videos I can cover those as well. This is a more natural finish version. So we'll try out, test out and do a first impressions on this foundation. So if you're interested, please do continue watching. Okay, so I have the Tete Mask Fit Red Cushion Foundation. I have got the red version. There are two more versions. We are going to test this one out. I have the shade 30 and Rich Honey. I saw a few videos here and there and then I decided on the shade. Honestly, I came to know about this foundation probably like 2-3 months back and then I decided to try it out. And when I went to see the shade range, I, it was so confusing. I gave up. And then last month, I think somebody uh, requested me to do a review on this foundation, which compelled me again to take a look. And then I decided on this shade. I was going to get two shades, but uh, I have just narrowed it down to one 30 N. Hope it works out. I have not tried it out yet. We will do it together and see if it works out. So this is a viral cushion foundation. I think it was viral on TikTok. Uh, I am not too sure about that. I am not on TikTok. I am not a TikTok person. I am quite old. I like YouTube and at the most Instagram, I like YouTube better. So it's a viral product and uh, it's really famous in Japan. I think it's made in Korea and I think it got famous or popular during the COVID times because it's supposed to be mask proof. So that's why it's it has a lot of claims that it doesn't smudge even if you're wearing a mask so we will see it has 72 hours of wear that's what the claims are so we are not going to test it out today but we are just going to see a first impression on this today because i have not really used it i wanted to just you know do a first impression video on this so let's get started here is how the packaging looks like it's quite big actually i didn't expect it to be so huge it has all the claims which are uh, made by this foundation right here it has the ingredients list also here and i got the shade 30n rich honey so hope it works out it has a neutral undertone so we will see how it works this is how the packaging looks like i really like the packaging it's quite fun and it's quite big as well i was expecting it to be a little bit smaller but here it is and this is how the foundation opens you must have seen it several times so I'll not bore you with that. This is how the foundation looks like inside. It's it's a nice pretty red packaging. There's a powder puff inside and there is a mirror as well. The mirror is a little bit blurry, hazy. Probably there is a, like a plastic film on top which I need to take out. But we have the puff which looks pretty nice. Let's open it and see how it is. So as I was saying, I have not opened it. So I have to take out this seal from here. Let's open it, moment of truth. Uh, there is a seal here, we'll open it. A little bit of an ASMR. Oh my God, there's a lot of foundation on the seal as well. Okay. Okay, I got it open. This is how the shade looks like. So how am I supposed to do it? Do they have some instructions? Take an appropriate amount with the puff and thinly spread on the skin in a gentle tapping motion. So take an appropriate amount. Am I supposed to apply it like this? Wow. The applicator is really good. Wow. More than the foundation, I like the applicator. I am not someone who uses these products a lot like I am I taken just a tiny amount I didn't take too much but look at the coverage wow okay that's good like I was saying I don't really use cushion foundations that much so I'm not very comfortable applying with this kind of applicators I think the shade is just a slight bit off Maybe I should have gotten like 32N or something. Just slightly off. I would get... I should have gotten a slightly deeper shade. But we'll see. Maybe it oxidizes. We don't know. 
there is so much coverage with a small amount it feels very lightweight that's my first impression it's super lightweight you don't feel like you have applied foundation it's one of the light lightest foundations i think which i have applied doesn't feel like anything on the skin so that's a very very good plus point i think i like the finish also it's not too matte it's nice and lightweight and it's natural looking it has slight bit of that uh, dewiness also but i think it's from the moisturizer it's not from, it's not it's maybe not from the foundation but i like the finish it's lightweight it's not very matte it looks very natural on the skin it's not looking very heavy so that's also a plus and i have a feeling that this foundation is oxidizing a bit on my skin because right now it looks a little bit better so i think we'll wait for some time and then i'll be right back so it has been about five minutes and this is how the foundation looks like right now i think i am pretty happy with what i have as my shade it's looking pretty good it has oxidized just a slight bit i will show you here on screen as well you can see a swatch which was applied probably five minutes back and here is a fresh swatch you can see there is a slight bit of oxidization with the foundation so after five minutes i think it has settled down pretty well and it's much more closer to my skin tone now do i really want to try another undertone i'm not really sure i think i'm pretty happy with what i have this is a slight bit of that uh, neutral undertone which is leaning towards pink it's not leaning towards warm so maybe in future i might try out a shade which has a more warmer undertone but for now i think i'm pretty happy with the coverage as well with the shade also it has matched me pretty well let's apply it on the other side of my face as well it has not completely set on the face by the way so i have tried to like move the foundation around and it moves around pretty easily so you have to apply a little bit of a, a powder dusting to set the foundation all in but let's apply the foundation on the other side of the face also look at the consistency of this i mean when you press on this cushion you can see the like the foundation is quite liquidy it's not very creamy and it just comes right out when you press on it it's quite fun actually <laughs> okay so let's apply it with the puff as they have mentioned i will take two three dabs like I did last time and just apply everywhere. I really like how smooth and even the coverage is right from the get go. You have something on the mirror. Ah, feels good. Now I can see my face properly. I think you can also make out this side of the face a little bit more brighter and lighter. But this side is bet better since it has oxidized and settled on the skin a little bit. So I will wait for this side also to do the same. As my foundation settles on the skin, I was just checking on Amazon. This is where I bought the foundation from for the other shades. So the next shade which is there is 31N French Beige. That one I think I could try. It's just a tad bit deeper than uh, Rich Honey. So maybe I could give that one a try in future. Then you have 33C which is Hazelnut which is cool. I don't want to try that. Before 30N, the warm shade is 21W, which is pretty light. So definitely not going there. And then we have 33W, which is warm uh, toned. And it's much more warm. So I think it's going to be too yellow for me. So I think the shade which I have chosen today, 30N, is pretty good. Uh, I might try 31N as well in the future but for now I'm pretty happy with the shade I have and if anybody has tried 33W then do let me know. So now I'm going to apply a little bit of powder and bronze my skin a little bit here. I've already applied powder on my face and I just love how smooth my face looks. It's almost like pore filling. And the coverage is so much i'm not used to so much coverage on my skin it's not highly full coverage but i don't know something about the consistency it looks very smooth and even and well covered so it's looking great i think but since i'm not used to so much of coverage on my face i will apply a little bit of bronzer just to bring back some color on my face so i'm using the hula caramel bronzer 
which is what I love the most for bronzing. This is by Benefit by the way if you're not aware. It's a really really good bronzer for uh, tan skin. And from the feel of it, I can predict that this might be pretty long wearing because it's it feels like nothing on the skin. It's absolutely lightweight. And it has adhered to the skin very nicely. It's not moving around that much after I've applied powder. And it just, it has gelled with the skin. If I can say so. So I think it's going to be very long wearing. And the applicator is so good. The applicator has something in it. Maybe it's very, very dense that it can pick up that product. And just pack it on your face very, very densely. I don't know what they have done with the applicator. That's a really, really good applicator. I will change my lipstick later. Let me apply some blush. I wanted to apply this blush actually today. This is the Pat McGrath new blush, which I have uh, shown you in my uh, new launches blush video. Uh, so I wanted to apply it on foundation, but I forgot. Let's apply it over powder, see if it works out. So this is the Pat McGrath pink blush fluorotic, which is quite nice. Actually, I really like this color. We'll spread the brush or blush around and see if there is any effect to the foundation. The foundation looks okay. It's not moving around. I'm looking at my camera screen right here. I can't still get over how full coverage and flawless my skin looks like. Even in real life, it looks like I have so much makeup on. I have such heavy full coverage makeup on. But it's not. I don't have like super full coverage heavy makeup on. Next, let's apply this new lipstick from MAC. Maximal lipstick in the shade Marrakesh. I had told you guys that I will be getting this shade. So I finally have it. And I have featured this in my fall lipsticks video as well. If you have not checked out the video, then do check it out. It was my last video where I have recommended some great fall lipsticks. This is also one of them. It's a beautiful burnt orangey sort of a color like a terracotta burnt orange. Really, really beautiful. So we'll apply this one. So this is the lipstick. MAC Marrakesh. Beautiful, beautiful shade. Not too orange, not too red, not too brown. It's like a nice mixture of terracotta, burnt amber, uh, like a burnt orange color. Really, really pretty. Very comfortable formula as well. Very pigmented, nicely saturated. I want to get more of these MAC Maximal shades. So that's the lipstick and that's the foundation. The foundation is just so beautiful. It's lightweight. I think the shade match is also pretty nice now after I have done my full face of makeup. I will see how it wears throughout the day and then I can probably update you in future videos. Okay guys, I'm back. So doing a quick foundation check-in. So it has been about five hours uh, that I have applied this foundation and this is how it looks in natural lighting. I thought let me do a quick check-in before I upload the video and show you guys how it looks in natural lighting. So this is how it looks it feels amazing it's so lightweight i don't really feel anything i don't feel any tackiness heaviness dryness of foundation anything it does it is just a weightless sort of foundation it's amazing i'm truly impressed and there is no like weird lines or anything i don't see any lines wrinkles nothing my skin still looks and feels smooth let's do a quick test of uh, with a tissue paper as well i'll just try to maybe take out something but yeah it's well set i don't see any nothing much on the tissue paper as well just tiny bit here not much transfer as well so the transfer is also not much so i'm pretty sure it's quite mask proof although we don't really need it now so really really amazing and the shade match also i think looks pretty good but i am still curious so i have ordered one more shade 33n and we will see how that one looks like uh it's not very expensive also this foundation it's around 15 dollars here on amazon so i can try at least one more shade and see if it works out or not so i will update you guys again for now i am really really liking this foundation and this is how it looks 
after so many hours i think that's it for today's video i hope you found it helpful and you liked it if you liked it please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're watching me for the first time i really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much for watching i will see you again really soon in my next video bye